Yo. What is up, everybody? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by today. Glad to have you all here. Uh, I got to check one thing now that I think about it. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Doing weekend filled things. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. I uh, I went to bed like kind of early last night. And uh, I woke up this morning like a lot earlier than I thought I would. Pretty amazing. And so that's why I stream starting a bit early today. About, uh, say about 20 minutes early. 20 minutes early. But appreciate you guys being here. All right, man. So I hope again, I hope you all had a great weekend. Thanks for coming out today. Yo, Evgen, what's up, man? Welcome back, dude. Appreciate you being here. You Morks. How do you feel? Nice to see you, dude. Beep, bop, boop. Beep, bop, boop. Uh, have you ever looked at uh, Kotlin Native? I have not. No. Uh, this project, I was supposed to do some Kotlin stuff, but uh, as you remember, it just didn't, 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 no. <laughs> it didn't work. Caparino, yo, what's up there? Hello there. What's up there, guy? Welcome in, man. Thanks for coming by. So before we get started today, guys, I, uh, I wanted to do something that we re used to do back in the day, which was our uh, morning tech tech news. Um, but the reason why I was doing it is because tomorrow, tomorrow is Apple's iPhone release event. And this year, I hadn't really heard too much other than this new camera upgrade. So I was like actually kind of hoping that, uh, oh, Sergeant Wainson. Holy moly, dude. Welcome back, man. And thank you so much for that host. Glad to see you, dude. Wow. It's been a while. Welcome in, man. Thanks. Thanks again for the host. Uh, but it's, it, uh, there's a slight hope in my heart that this event will be some sort of a surprise for all of us, which would be really fantastic. So. I thought we'd take a little bit of time before we start and look over what we should be expecting tomorrow <laughs> for this event. Just a little bit. Let's, let's see what we got. It's been forever for sure. Have you been good, man? Been good. Just, uh, I don't remember the last time you were here, but we we moved. Uh, I'm over in Seattle now. So time zone difference, all that fun stuff, uh, new job, all, all that greatness. So a lot has happened since you've been here last. Welcome in, man. Appreciate you being here. Um, what have you been up to? What's what's going on? So let's see. Let's see what to expect. Um, obviously, this new phone lineup with the... Uh, I just... I don't know about these cameras, man. Like, I don't... I don't know. So we're saying uh, Apple Planet can continue offering three iPhones, 5.8, 6.5, and 6.1 inch sizes. Former two devices, which are successors to the iPhone XS and XX Max, will have OLED displays, while the iPhone XR successor will continue to feature LCD display to keep costs low. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Saw some brief updates on Discord, but the last time I was here uh, was when you were in Florida. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I was gonna say, I think that's the last time I saw you as well. Yeah, man, I moved over, so uh, we're we're on the West Coast now. Trying to get the startup build out outside of work. Oh, damn, dude. Hey, that's okay. Just keep the grind on, man. It'll it'll all just flow one day, and you'll be like, holy crap, it worked. Okay, so we don't yet know for sure what Apple's going to name its newest iPhone given the names of the previous generation devices, but iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro are the names that have been speculated for the two devices. Okay. 
All right. According to uh, Bloomberg, while the up upcoming iPhones will look similar to the current models, are going to be made from a more shadow resistant glass that's also matte instead of glossy. Oh, I like that. That's good. When it comes to the iPhone XR, it might be available in new colors, including lavender and green. Okay. Hey, Roars, what's up? I'm gaming and tempting to be a good mod. Oh, that's, you can't do both. <laughs> JK, JK, what are you, what are you uh, playing? Trying to build an Airbnb alike platform, different target market in a half a year. Dude, all I can say is uh, if you're doing stuff outside of work, just maximize your time, right? So like if you realize that you're more awake in the morning, then wake up at four in the morning and start working on your stuff and then go to work. Like if you have more time, right? Um, you're going to feel like shit when you go to work, but you'll get used to it, you know? And like, if, uh, like, I, it, I don't think you should be working 24 seven, right? You shouldn't be working on your startup and going to work and not doing anything else in between. Like you should have some time for yourself as well, but it's all about maximizing the time. So if you have a lunch break at work and you need to bring your laptop and work on stuff, then, uh, you do that too. <laughs> Yeah, that's also true. Just build it fast and get good. Exactly. Don't worry about how pretty your MVP is. Just make sure it works. Oh, nice, nice. That's a good game. I hear you don't spend uh, my time on Twitch. <laughs> well, it's good to have distractions in the background sometimes. It's good. That's what, that's what I would say for sure. DK, what's up, man? Welcome back. Nice to see you, buddy. Ah, uh, yeah, man. It's it's good to have uh, leisure time for sure. Some people will say no, but in my opinion, like you, you gotta you gotta break away. You gotta break away a little bit. All right, so better waterproofing is expected, uh, which will also make new iPhones more durable. And there's one significant design update in future version revision the rear cameras. Yeah, so like. With the 10R upgrade ones, it looks like they're keeping the same two array cameras, but they're changing it to this shit. Why don't they just keep it how it regularly is? Like, why why would they do that? I don't understand. The next generation iPhone XS and XS Max will feature triple lens camera set setups and square shaped camera bump. The camera setup is said to include a 12 megapixel telephoto lens a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a new 12 megapixel super wide angle lens okay the three camera system will bring significant improvements to photo quality especially in low lighting situations and will allow for photos that are zoomed out aka with a larger field of view okay hmm. i do a 12 uh 12 hour shift highway patrol nowadays which is a little easier than a uh, code six hour sleep repeat but it got me to Eventually, so whatever said breaks, so it was wrong. Gotcha. Yeah. That's that's true. That is very true, sir. <laughs> Awful. JavaScript is the wonderful way of life. The final camera design is supposed to be more subtle than depicted here, with the bump that better matches the rear color of each phone. All right. Yeah. Uh, rumors suggest new video recording capabilities in the works. Uh, introduce feature that allows you to retouch, apply effects, alter colors, and crop video real time. Oh, geez. That'd be cool. The front facing uh, true depth system is going to be largely the same, and the notch isn't going to shrink down this year, but Apple is rumored to be adding a new flood illuminator and face ID sensor upgrades that will allow the iPhone to capture a wider field of view. Okay. Hmm. Apple Pencil support? Nah. Nah. iPhone with the new camera uh, thing looks like Spider Panda. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, I they do need to get rid of the notch. I don't know why. I don't know why it's taking so long. I don't get it. I would have thought that would have been a, a big improvement for this upgrade, but who knows? That's a sketchy rumor. I see what the <laughs> Yeah. Those puns, man. 
Uh, so, yeah, so there are quite a few features that are coming that are worth highlighting. Uh, bilateral wireless charging, which Samsung phones already have. Excuse me. Uh, with the Q or the Qi based device such as AirPods. Yeah, I heard about this. So apparently you'll be able to take your phone, right? And then throw your AirPods on top of them and charge your AirPods that way, which would be really great for the people that have the wireless charging case, which I don't have. I'm gonna have to buy it. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably be the next like big update. iPhone 12, the notch. Ugh. Apple logos on the new iPhones are expected to be relocated towards the center of the device. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because they're more towards the top. That makes sense. Uh, ultra wide band support may be added to bring improvements to indoor positioning and navigation. And new iPhones expect to support Wi Fi 6. That's great. <laughs> yes, exactly, DK. It's exactly what I mean. Yo, silly. What's up? Welcome back. Doing good, man. Just going over some. Uh, some new iPhone updates that are going to be announced tomorrow. Seeing what the rumors are. Uh, the next iPhone XR may feature 4 gigabytes of RAM up from 3. And it could also get 4x4 MIMO for LTE speed that matches the current 10s and 10X Max. Dual Bluetooth audio connection support for connecting two pairs of Bluetooth headphones to a single device is rumor too. Oh. That actually be pretty cool. I don't know like how many people actually use that though. <clears throat> A13, yep. Yeah, so there wasn't any talk of a uh, of 5G, of cellular 5G. I think it's quite interesting. It's 2 p.m. and you've yet to consume sustenance. I should probably go do that. That's probably a really good idea. Have some food, friend. You mean the iPhone, which doesn't have a GM software? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Well, you know something, DK, the, the touch bars that are in MacBooks are actually using, well, the when they first came out, were actually using the first generation Apple Watch CPUs, which is really interesting. Uh, 3D touches are going to be going away? No. That's, that's dumb. Why? Why would they take that away? Yeah, dude, same here. I really enjoyed it. There were some early rumors suggesting Apple might use a USB-C port instead of a lightning port in the new iPhones, but later rumors have solidified around a lightning port, so don't expect port changes this year. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't see why they're, I don't see Apple ever changing to a USB-C port, like, in the near future. I don't get it. I don't know if people are using it, apparently. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. I... Maybe I don't understand how 3D Touch actually works, but like they have the haptic engine already inside of it, right? So that doesn't matter. So the rest should just be software based, right? Or is there something different that they have to add to the screen? Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, DK. They should, they should switch over to USB-C, but like the only device that has USB-C support is a, their MacBooks. So I don't. I don't know why, out of nowhere, they're just going to switch over to USB-C. Oh, apparently some new Apple Watch models. Hmm. iPad Pro has it too? Really? Does it really? Oh, snap. Okay. I actually didn't know. I thought it was still using the lightning. Huh. Okay, so yeah. So definitely maybe next year then. Pressure sensor? Ah, yes, that would make sense. Hmm. Yeah, but it's probably a whole other whole other part of their production that they have to pay other people for to like put in, right? I don't know. It does suck. I really, 3D touches, I thought was a really great feature. Hmm. Software updates, services, eh, whatever. 
update phone cases, blah, blah, blah. All right. That's pretty much it. I just want to look at the iPhones, really. So tomorrow, tomorrow, 10 a.m. PST, live streaming. It's, uh, should be good. We'll have a good talk about it tomorrow uh, and Wednesday, I'm sure. I've yet to use 3D Touch ever. Really? I actually, I guess technically, like, I don't need to. Um, but a lot of the time, I, I try to use it when I can for some apps. Yeah, Mac OS Catalina will be good as well. I'm excited for that dark mode, you know? <laughs> Yo! Demon Wolf, dude! Thank you so much for the raid, man. Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for bringing in the new devs. How was your stream, man? Appreciate you. You're waiting for Catalina, actually? Yeah, I think a lot of us are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Sergeant. I think it's like... I'm confused by this whole 5G phenomenon. I, I don't know. There has to be a reason why, right? Yeah, for the spec sheet. But you know Apple doesn't do that. Like, they just add the minimum... <laughs> the minimum amount of stuff. Like, from what I've seen, it's... The, the only innovation they try to do is over on cameras, but everything else is kind of just like, dude, they're just about to maybe get five, four gigs of RAM in their phones while other companies put like six gigs of RAM in their phones right now. Right? Doesn't the OnePlus have like six gigs of RAM? Just put it down in your house. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, phones have some ridiculous amounts of RAM, and maybe we're getting four gigs of RAM this next iteration. Apple's not not one to just throw stuff in their phones. Well, all right, that that was good. I enjoyed that. We'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll have more talks on Wednesday about it, I'm sure. But now to get into some gravy. Uh, last week on Friday, we actually ended up. Um, getting our, I guess let's start this guy, getting our list set up, which is pretty cool. Let's see where we left off there. Yeah, I, iPhones are fast, man. They always have a reason to put it in there. Holy shit, another raid? Let's go. Oh my God. Impulsivity. Holy moly, thank you so much for that raid. What's up? Welcome, welcome. I really appreciate it. Thanks for bringing in five new devs. I don't I don't think I've ever seen you around the stream. So thank you for the for the awesome stream. The awesome raid. Another one. Another one. Pog you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Huge shout out though. Huge shout out. Thank you so much for that raid. Oh, today we're working on the, uh, wow. This is so great. Thank you. Thanks for bringing the five new devs. My name is Alec. We work on a, uh, react native project doing dev streams. Uh, this one's called groovy, a social playlist collaboration app doing some stuff for fun. Yeah. Roars you slacking. You slack it. How was your stream, Impulse? Glad to have you here. React Native is special. Try for three hours of rage quit. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's the way you got to do it. It was good. Awesome. Nice. Nice to see. Nice to see. What do you stream? I'm going to go ahead and drop you a follow so I can tune into your stream next time. Thank you so much. For real. I appreciate you. <laughs> Please be a lady dev. <laughs> Please tell us you're a lady dev. We need more lady devs in the world. I'm glad you had a good stream as well. And I hope you definitely enjoy your cooking.
Um, okay, so this is where we got last week. Pretty solid. So pretty much what we ended up doing was um, we mocked up uh, some data here. Essentially, this is what we're looking at. We uh, defaulted uh, some some data here. We defaulted to so, like some online playlist things. Am indeed. Oh my gosh. Welcome in. Welcome in, Lady Dev. <laughs> Wars is forever happy right now. Great UI so far. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Sergeant. Yeah, I think so. I think this was a pretty good look. But so, as you can see, we have some uh, art URL path right here. Some broken image path. So we default to this cat image here. And uh, at this point, basically, the game plan was to grab the like a random album artwork from your playlist, right? Uh, so we showed this last time, but Spotify has this kind of like cool, cool view here in playlists, right? So if we go over here, out of all the artists I have here, it groups for the albums here. I just wanted to do one, so that's what I'm kind of basing it off of. Clean, easy to read. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Yo, this is so great. <clears throat> Later, nerd. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then these are the ones that are just being grabbed from from the internets, which is cool. And so right now on tap, we just have your boy Alex playlist, the number of members in the in there, and then how many songs. So for now, that's cool. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we need to add a plus button. So the plus button, if we go over to our sketch design, uh, is basically going to be right here. And so pretty much something like this. This is going to be adding our playlist. And so let's work on that. And we're going to get that in here with uh, getting that set up. Will you be uploading this to the Play Store? I will. Dude, <clears throat> excuse me. We have our Android version set up, which is why we're doing React Native, man. Come on now. I'm definitely not a nerd. Evgen. Evgen. Come on, man. Don't joke around with us like that. We know we know you're a nerd. Everyone knows. <laughs> we're we're the nerdos. We're the nerdo crew. I love it. If you're not a nerd, what what are you doing in life? Let's do like a two width here. Yeah. Ooh, baby. So, uh, going off of, uh, we were having some issues last week on like what to do with the, uh, with the button, but Roars had an idea of adding a gradient around the, the outline. And I think it looks very nice. I like it a lot. Warnelio, what's up? Welcome in friend. Nice to see you. No one here is a nerd. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking this is actually kind of a sick color. We can kind of go off this like moon from the default cat. <laughs> I like that, right? What do you guys think? Impulsivity. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Pixlogic team. Glad to have you here, my friend. And thank you again for that raid for real. I'm doing well, Warren. I'm doing really well. How are you doing today? You're taking design tips for Roars. Dude, I got to take it from someone, man. Come on. <laughs> I like, but I think this looks pretty good. Like, it doesn't look bad, right? Let's get some honest thoughts in here. <laughs> Taking design tips from Roars. Oh, damn. Feels bad, man. I don't think in like, something like that. Those look like to be the same colors. So, nope. Okay, champ. Heck yeah. I give a button a thumbs up. Hey, you look very nice. Well, thank you, DK. <laughs> my day has been, uh, been fire. Posted something on Dribble last Sunday. My mailbox got bombarded. Yo, that's awesome, dude. Congrats on that. That's always a good sign. Trying to do an insult. Well, it didn't work because I took it as an... Not being an insult. 
Um, should we make this button color white? Or this, uh, this icon here probably white, right? It's kind of like the offset color that we have. Dude, what the heck is going on today with all these hosts and raids? <laughs> Uncle Bill, holy moly. It's nice to see you, friend. Thank you so much for the host. Thank you very much. Thank you. How you doing? It's nice to see you, Uncle. I haven't, I haven't seen you on stream for a while. Yellow, y'all. <laughs> I believe I auto-host you. Thank you, Royce. I give that comment a thumbs down. <laughs> Feels bad. All right, we're going to go with that for now. Let me export this guy. <laughs> Yo, Bianco, what's up, man? DK, thank you for the host, my guy. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the host love. Potato Jack, hello. Hello, welcome in. Thanks for coming by. 60-30-10 rule is good. One for colors? Uh, tell me more about this rule. I actually don't know that. Huge host? Hey, yeah, we're going in. Going in with a huge host. <laughs> hey, it's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts. Alright, this is... Add playlist. Ooh. Yeah, something like that. James, what's up, dude? Bonjour, bonjour, my friend. Nice to see you, buddy. What's going on? The idea is that one color uh, makes up 60% of the palette, then you have a complementary color that makes up 30% of the palette, and the third color for accents, 10%. Oh, man. That, that definitely sounds like something I should learn. <laughs> oh. That would be an interesting thing, DK. Mod out of control? Dude, she's, she's a little crazy, man. But it's because of you. You're making everyone crazy. <laughs> you use Figma now? Ah, uh, nah, man. Sketch all the way. When will you sleep? Dude, I already slept. I'm awake, ready to start the day. Hey, Martin, what's up? Yes, I am. I am. Actually, West Coast right now. Adding a pop of some unexpected hue can elevate a design that otherwise fits within what is expected. Dude, oh man, I need to, I need to do this. The, the thing that I notice with design stuff is that I will, uh, I can sit here working on it for way too long. So I'm going to do what we have for now and then we will definitely update it uh, as we go back. But I think it's pretty good. Like somewhat matches, right? <laughs> Anyone who wears at beards is a little bit crazy. That is true, DK. There's never any good stuff to host on Mondays. The what? <laughs> Savage, bro. <laughs> Savage. No sketch on Mondays. Yeah, that's that would make sense. It's because I have to sit here and watch you do JS. <laughs> hey, at least you can see my progress, right? Yeah, that's that's the plan. You wake up earlier than I sleep, not even kidding? Oh yeah? Yeah, man, I mean, it's part part of the part of the gig. I uh, like streaming in the mornings uh, more than like before I go to work instead of after work. Hashtag somewhat matches, yeah. <laughs> Well, playlist is going to be done by October, right? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Playlist, I don't I have no idea what that is. So the way that we've been doing this is uh, we'll actually start building out for iOS because that's what I'm most familiar with. And then we'll uh, make sure to bring it over to Android. Um, so first thing we need to do is actually change the naming of this and bring it into our iOS package. Can I do a bulk rename on these guys? Yeah. No, 
no i don't want to do that actually let's just do add uh, let's just call it add playlist button and for ios we need we need all these friends here Nice. Okay, cool. Now let's open up our iOS project. Let's get that bad boy in there. Ooh, groovy. Uh, the workspace. We doing it. Design streams for the next 10 years. <laughs> That's pretty much what it would, it would end up being. For real, though. It's just how it is. But I, I would really like to learn. Like I think, I think my progression of my designs have has been getting better. By no means are they like fantastic, but I think they're like they're pretty good. Like they're getting there, right? And I that's the only thing you can hope for. Progress. Roar sat beards. <laughs> oh, come on, James. <laughs> He will start with iOS and bail out when it's Android. Hey, you know me too well. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right, DK. No, we've been doing good. So basically, I develop for iOS and then I'll immediately go over to Android to make sure everything's working properly, um, which is really good. I think that that is the way to do it. Okay, so now that we added that, we need to actually create a new component. So... We have our components here. Technically, we have this playlist component. Um, and I feel like inside of here, we can add our like add playlist button. So I'm just going to create a new one here, new file called add, add playlist button.js. Or we just call it add button since we're already in the playlist folder. Um, and then let's just grab our, let's move this over here. We're just going to grab our basic stuff from here. We're going to mock out this component and we're going to say const, uh, add button. I think I always feel like my naming convention or my, like the names that I give these components are kind of crappy. So it'll probably be a time when we go back and like change up some of these but we do that here and then we're going to import this into our playlist view so we're going to do import add button from add button sweet we've done some native uh warren Ulium. why not use pdf for your assets wait what <laughs> nice james yo working og what's up what are the js file being used for or are they just their uh mock-up so no the js files here are the uh react native files that we're using to actually build out our ui so all this is written in jsx and so we use this to to do that welcome in thanks for coming by oh you guys are still talking about roars <laughs> It's so funny that you thought that for so long. Do you think it's difficult to go from one role to another within the same company or perhaps easier than your average interview? Uh, definitely easier. I just went through that actually. Uh, because one, you're already in the company. I mean, I guess it depends on the company, but you're already in the company. So you already have like the standard that you've met. Um, and then also it's easier to get in contact with like people like the hiring manager and stuff. Like you can go to them directly instead of having to go through other people to get your resume to the people that actually matter if that makes sense um so i think it's very easy not very easy but like it's it's easier <laughs> you know okay so here we have our add button and literally all we want to do is we're gonna go here uh we'll have to do some fancy ui stuff but I'm gonna return and pretty much I want a uh, 
touchable opacity button. Uh, and then we can, so we can do touchable opacity button. Or do we need, I think we need the touchable opacity to have like a, to have this. So then, can we add a image to a button? Run image. We have to look. I'm not sure. Okay, so now the real question is, are you the person that matters? Oh, damn. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. So you do .jsx, but you keep the JS extension? Yeah, so the way that I've set it up is uh, you can still do .js extension, so you don't need to do .jsx. Because uh, this is also being created as a component and from my understanding jsx is only for like the u the ui portion of uh of react and react native right so if we did just dot jsx we would only be writing this in the file i believe we got any package from korea and you pay import tax on it instead of letting me pay online using tracking they're mailing me a letter with a new reference number that i can use to pay it online that sounds interesting. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. So you're going to have to mail it? Oh, right. We can just do the image and then on press. That's what it was. That's what it was. So let's try this. Yo, what's up, Poopa? JSX should be used if there's any JSX in the file. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Good explanation. What's the uh, purpose of using React? So the purpose of using React, um, one, is for people that don't know native iOS development. So like, if you're going to build this app solely for iOS, right? And you know a lot of JavaScript, you would have a much easier time probably than starting to learn how to do everything in iOS. Um, secondly, it's cross-platform, right? So all this code I'm writing right now is transferable from iOS and Android. So I can run Android, an Android version right now, and it would look like this. And I wrote one code base. So that's really the big benefit of React, React Native right now. So you're moving again next year? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not, man. I just moved here. I don't want to. I don't want to move again. Absolutely no need to use JSX extension now. Yeah, it's actually good to know. I appreciate the insight. Yeah, I mean, if the if the compiler now reads JavaScript when there's JSX in the in the in the JS file, then what's the point? React? No, uh, what? Oh, Xamarin. Nah. Xamarin, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need to actually rebuild our bundle as well since we added a new image. And then our image here is going to need to include uh, our source. And then the on press here as well. And so this is going to be the name of our file, which was, oh no, I spelled it wrong. Oh, I said add playist. God damn it. I'm gonna have to rename these. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, Martin. Yeah, no problem. Moving is freaking work. It is. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, like it's fun for a little bit and then you're like I hate my life why why am I doing this but I think it also helps you realize like how much stuff you have that you truly don't need that's one thing I always, I've always appreciated so add new playlist 
or add playlist button. Okay, cool. So we add that to our URI. Um, and then at this point, I think that's all we need. So we can just actually do this. Should be good. Xamarin rocks. I've only used a little bit of Xamarin. I mean, C Sharp's cool. <laughs> I want to try out Kotlin native for cross-platform stuff. Yeah, dude, I. that's interesting you brought that up. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. If you do try it out, let me know how it goes. A deep groove? Dude, I love music. It's all about the deep, deep groove. Always. <clears throat> And let's uh, let's add this here. Add playlist. We're just gonna put this in here for now. We're gonna say, uh, it's worn, right? Adding playlist. So we do add playlist. <clears throat> and at this point, uh, so we have this thing here. We're just literally putting our button on top, which we already made. And then we need to add some some styling in here, eh? Uh, and mainly it's going to be I think mainly it's going to be just the size of the button. So Or do we even need that? I'm very curious actually. We might not even need to do that. Oh, and this is going to be the interesting part now that I think about it. Um I wonder if we can I think we're going to have to make a fragment here. First off, And then in here, uh, we're gonna add the add button like that. So it should should be hopefully sitting on top. I don't know if it's going to though. And then import fragment to from React. Oh, is it in React Native? No, I think it's in React. Probably like that, yeah. C sharp is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Has its has its plots. Pantheris, what's up? Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Pixelogic team. Glad to have you here, buddy. He's a Microsoft employee. He's biased. <laughs> if they're holding you hostage, no, 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 no. I like. I mean, yeah, I I did start writing C sharp because of Microsoft, but. Don't get me wrong, like it, there's there's some cool coolness from it. It's not the best, but it's not like it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and npm start this and let's see where where we're sitting at. <laughs> Blink twice if they're making you say this. <laughs> You ever get yourself a Tesla? I did. I got the Model 3, man. Dude, it's a it's a car. It is a car. Uh card item playlist view 51. Oh, dude, I'm totally in the wrong file. What the heck? First of all, Let's take this stuff out. <laughs> Wowza, my bad. I'm totally in the wrong spot. So this should not be in here. This should not be in here either. It should be in the playlist view is where I was trying to put this. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. I wanted to do this, our flat list. I'm trying to have the button sit on top of the flat list. And then again, do the fragment. Is this, isn't this the fragment like syntax? Can't you do it like this? Blink confirmed. <laughs> it's not Swift. It is not Swift. You're correct. Swift is definitely something else. You saw my first X service, two sets of tires. Holy dude, 1500. What freaking tires did you get, man? What? It's a car. <laughs> It is true. Oh, Jesus. So I was gonna be like, what the hell, man? Those are like some freaking, I don't even know. Is React free for enterprise apps? Yeah. Yeah, Ra React is is open to anyone. Not sure if you can React Native. I bet you didn't export add button. Dude, right here. No, I got it. I know I'm going to need a fragment for this, right? So, oops. Just for testing purposes. Oh, unless I have to do this. Unless I have to do that. Just use a view? Oh, I guess that also could be true. <laughs> I was like, hold up, 6k for two sets of tires? <laughs> for real. Oh, it should be import react, then fragment? <clears throat> so like this. I swear I used a fragment before. Might need to be react.fragment. Can't find variable image. Oh yeah, that was, this was it. This was it. Okay. Nice. What tires do you have in the Model 3? Um, oh man, they are, I think, I don't remember, honestly, now that I think about it. I was looking at them the other day, um, because I was checking to see if they're all weather tires. And I think they are. But like, I got the, so I got the, uh, the performance wheels or not the performance wheels, the, like the upgrade 19 inch wheels with the alloy. Dude, those tires are jacked, man. They put nice tires on the, the model X. So I'm confused why they only lasted 8k miles. It's nothing. Ah. Cool. Yeah, th so that makes sense. That makes sense. So now I need to go and import my image, which I'm probably not. That's, that's correct. We don't need flat list button. Don't think we need uh, view right now. We don't need background image or yeah, this. So we'll just do image. There we go. Now, where's my button? <laughs> I don't see you. I don't see you, button. I didn't think this was going to work, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah. I think it's behind the... You have the flat list, right? 
But you would ex wait. You would expect it to be under here, but I think it's being covered by the container view or something. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also true. Lots of ludicrous launches. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Is the uh, is the performance performance Model X all wheel drive? It is, right? Or is it just rear? Um, unless, oh, I probably should have read that. Hold on, let's refresh this real quick. Okay, could not find image. Oh no, that's fine. Could not find broken image path, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so it's all the broken image paths which are not loading, which is good. So we are able to find, oh, probably because there's no size probably what the issue is so if we let's add a quick style here this, this is doctor disrespect <laughs> nice um, and we do width let's just do 24 height 24 as well Yes. Okay. You see how that happened right there? It's bumping up the list view. So we need it to be one layer on top of the list view. We need to put it on, on its parent. This is kind of like what happens as well with uh, in iOS, right? We need to put it on like the parent container view in order for it to overflow. Did you, James? <laughs> that feels bad, man. Yo, Sean Z, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. And also, Modern uh, Zamalar. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome in. Glad to have you guys part of the team. Is all-wheel drive? Okay. Very nice. Yellow. Dude, I, I love it, man. I love his streams. They're, they're freaking great. <laughs> You want the button fixed to the bottom anyways? Yeah, but I want it to overlay, right? Um, so if we put it in this view, we need to put it in the parent view of this. But I wish I'd see it at least appear. I don't understand why it does. it's not showing up. Like not even the gradient of the of the button. Hmm. <laughs> I made a synth. <laughs> nice. You need your uh, your Tesla intro. I do. I will one day. I'll just drive my Tesla through my room door, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. Thanks for being here. Everyone's got to start their Monday off somewhere, right? Yeah, it sounds like you do, James. You'll be famous if you do, and I also will not have a home to live in. <laughs> Where'd you add uh, the button component? So I added it to the bottom of my list view, or my flat list. So that's why it's popping up under here. Uh, but we're talking about um, the absolute position, right? So... I think that's probably what it is. Position absolute. How do you have your coffee? I like having my coffee. Um, I don't know what those things are called, but the you fill the water on the bottom, then you put the grinds inside of like a little container, and then it boils up to the top. It's like espresso maker, I guess. I don't know. Uh, with with a little bit of cream, a little bit of cream, some almond almond milk cream. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy. Damn, let's let's sub and donate to him so he can buy a new home. <laughs> or maybe he could just live out of his car. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, dude, this is the best way to make coffee. So cons add button style. Uh then in playlist view, add button style position absolute bottom fifty. 
Okay. Let's try it out. Let's try it out there. The thing is, it's not going to stick to the bottom, right? Um, it's it, or it's not going to overlap, is what I'm trying to say. Raul. Uh, and then bottom. Nah, dude. That didn't look like it worked either. Another banger. <laughs> yeah, I. I'm not sure what the, what it's called. I just have instant coffee with milk because ain't nobody got time for all that fancy shit. Yo, impulsivity. You got time for it. I promise you. You have to. Co like brewing coffee is like it's the best part of the day. You just wake up. Like for me, I wake up. 450 get out of bed splash some water on my face don't even don't even pick up my phone just go down grind up those coffee beans take a nice little whiff put it in that percolator i guess i don't know what it's called damn it and then uh and just boil it up it's real good real good yo game me what's up uh yeah so we're using this thing called react native which you can use uh javascript like uh, programming language to to build iOS and Android apps, man. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use the arrow press. I've heard good things. You have to pass that style to your component. Uh, const add button style. Oh. Also, if you set something to position absolute or fixed, it will render on top of everything else. Ah. Okay, so that's what I'm missing. So add button needs to accept style prop, then pass that style to the parent view. Okay, so add button needs to accept style prop. And so you're saying to do that. Uh, as so. Right. And so at this point, we set style. Like this but we can do we have to deconstruct it right so it would be const parent style uh, and then it would just be oh wait no wouldn't it be doesn't it have to be called Wait, how? Because I've deconstructed props a different way before, I thought. Yeah, like this. So I pass in the props as so, and then I deconstruct them like that. Or is, is style prop like its own sort of prop for React Native? Yeah, Gamey, really? Yeah, exactly, James. Exactly. <laughs> Outside of waking up at 450. <laughs> Yeah, some days it's hard, but most of the time it's been pretty good. You should try it once, impulsivity. It's good. It's a good time to have coffee or even tea. Like, you can do the same thing with tea. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to do it as props for now, since all my other views are using props. And then we're gonna call it parent style. And that's how we deconstruct it, right? Because this is how I've been doing it in all the in all the other ways. So then at this point, uh, that needs to go here, right? Goodbye. Okay, I have to see it. Oh, it has to be style. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. That's what that's what I was trying to ask is like So that at this point 
we go like that, right? I always have a big glass of water and first thing before before coffee. That's I should start doing that. I haven't done that in a while, but that's actually really good for like digestion and stuff. Like as soon as you wake up. Yo, Hazelnut, what's up? <clears throat> Yo, you can totally borrow my glasses. Just come over here and grab them. They're, they're all yours. <laughs> right. So whatever you pass to your component, uh, add button style, you could change it to. Right, okay, so. Okay, so we could have done style is passing this, right? Style is passing our prop over here, which we got here, but we could have renamed it to parent style, like I was doing earlier. Okay. Impulse Movie, thank you so much for the, the raid earlier today and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to nice to meet you. Mm. I try to limit myself to two cups a day. Okay, so then um, we also need to then add the width, right? Width and height on this guy. Or is, does it have to be on the image? Because I don't even see it here in the, in the DOM. Yo, Slayer, welcome in. Welcome. Whoa, around 10 to 15 a day? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's a lot of coffee, though. Change the top 50 background color white. Okay. Let's try it out. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. I wonder. So if we do bottom 50. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Nice. Okay. Yo, I appreciate the help. Poofa, you're, you're awesome, man. Really appreciate that. Feel much better. That's good to know, man. Yeah. I like I drink a lot of liquids during the day. Um, so usually I'll have this, I'll finish up this coffee probably like by the time I get to work and I'll have breakfast at work. And then usually after lunch, I'll either go with like a Coke zero or another coffee. It just depends. It just depends. Speaking of which I'm going to drink some water now because I'm thirsty, dude. Cool. That so to like think back on this, right? We're adding this button. We're giving it an absolute position. We're giving it some width and height. Um, we're sticking it to the bottom and then we're doing the background color. Oh my, oh my Lord. Yo, Cross, dude. Thank you so much for the raid, man. You're too damn kind. So many freaking raids and hosts today. You guys are awesome. Guys, if you haven't yet, check out check out our homie. Thanks, Rose. Check out our homie Cross. Awesome game dev here on Twitch. Always supporting the channel. Dude, thank you, man. What's up, everyone? Hyperventilator, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you as part of the Pixelogic team. <laughs> Dude, welcome in, man. How's it going? How's your Monday? Definitely nice to see you, man. All right. 
right, let's go to sketch. How big is this thing? This thing's 52. It is a 52. So if I do this, I guess the question is why? Why isn't... Worked on some um, Battaglia polish today. Very nice, man. That's awesome. <laughs> you know it. How's Groovy coming? It's coming, man. Dude, we got this uh, nice layout. We're adding this plus button down here. Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Let me have to pass style to image. That's what I was thinking. Because it looks like... Or like, not even pass the style, right? Can't we just set the... Or no, I guess we want to, right? So if I did this as well, because I don't think we're giving the image any sizing. So it's like, we're just going to render it at whatever. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> makes it makes it much larger. And it's doing an absolute on that. But make it fill parent. Oh, true. Height 100%. Yes, good call. Good call. Dude, CSS always jacks me up, man. One day I'm going to be like, I'm actually good at CSS, but that day will, it's far down the road, I think. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Uh, oh, I forgot the other curly. Forgot the curly. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So now let's remove the background color on this guy. There it is. Okay. We need some opacity on our button background for sure. Uh, and then this should be... Not sure with that, but are you uh, pulling any APIs from, say, Spotify? We will be eventually. Uh, haven't yet, though. Haven't yet. Right now, we're just doing UI mockups with some mock data. Yeah, so some of these, the ones that are not the moon cat thing, they're actually pulled from some URL that I passed in. Um, but they'll eventually be pulling from there, yeah. No one person can say they're good at CSS. You're right. You're right. Welcome in, Yagicho. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cross. It's it's uh kind of sucks, but it's necessary in this type of stuff. Uh, did your backend use Docker, or have you never really played with Docker? I've only done a a tad bit, tad bit of Docker. Uh, Cycles actually use a lot of on device storage, so we only had a server for push notifications and uh, some like stats on how people were using the app. But that's about it. Call me Yag. All right, cool. What's up, Yak? Welcome in, Yak. CSS is easy, just style it. <laughs> True. Yeah, I didn't think of think about the opaqueness of this, which is gonna kind of gonna kind of shook. Right, we're gonna need like something here. Yo, Yak, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Pixelogic team, my friend. Be glad to have you. Yeah, I was thinking, I guess, black with, uh, you know, 40% opaqueness. Oops. Yeah, that's probably probably the, the plan. <laughs> I don't think my boots even have straps on them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. No, I can't. So let me remove these. I can't believe I forgot about that. Export selected there. Oh, wait. Yeah, one, two, and three. Export. And this thing was called add playlist button. Oops.
accidentally so add playlist button. Or not. I don't know why. Sometimes Mac OS is, is weird. I spelled it right this time. All right, so we got that. Now again, we're gonna bring it in here. Should overwrite. Oh, I guess not. Pretty smart. Uh, remove selected items. Then we're gonna have to do a quick little... Uh... Alec, can we call you CSS if we like your style? Oh! <laughs> you know it. All right, Cross, dude, thanks for coming by, man, for real. Thank you for streaming, and thanks for the raid. Like always, dude, you're freaking awesome. Have a, a great rest of your day, right? All right, we got to rebuild this server. With Flex and reason to use uh, BS or Enterprise apps? Probably, you're probably right. Flex is good. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I don't think I saved it. <laughs> Let me try doing a quick little, quick little rebuild there. Oh, unless that's being cached, we might need to restart our run iOS. <laughs> weird flex, but okay. <clears throat> we love doing the weird flex around here. There it is. Yeah, much better. Okay. <clears throat> so now, um, now we just need to center that that bad boy. Maybe push it down probably a little bit lower as well. Uh, or let's get to our constants here. I'm gonna want to call this um, call this playlist uh, button size, and then we're gonna set that at a fifty two. So we'll do style constants like that. Sweet. Uh, someone mentioned earlier that vector files work nicely. Forget who said it. They're definitely correct. If you add, if you have extra time and plan on using several different icons, maybe worth checking out React Native vector icons and adding a custom TTF font set. Huh. Okay, yeah, I mean, I've I've heard about like the benefits of using vectors and things like that, um, but it's always been easier to do it like this, right? Is this going to be on iOS only or? No, it's also gonna be on Android, uh, but I always start off with iOS because I'm more familiar with it. Yes, thanks Poopa, appreciate it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what the deal is. So once we add this button, then we'll actually move over to Android to make sure that everything's rendered properly and it works the same and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, okay, so then if that's bottom, then we need to do left, right, as well. But it should be basically the screen size divided by, or the screen width divided by half. Right, that makes sense. Oh, import dimensions. Easy. All right, I can do that. Oh, you can do with 100% align item center.
Huh. So you're saying here we have the set height already? And then align items? Yeah, yeah. Vectors are amazing. Yeah, they are silly. That's what I've heard, at least. You'd have to wrap it? Oh. Add a view around it. Gotcha. It's probably a good call anyways, honestly. Yeah, okay. I get you. So we would do... View. And then we do an... Add a button and then in our view we would have a width oh I understand width of a hundred percent and then align items would be center yeah yeah that makes sense um, and then the add button. So do we, the position absolute then would be on, no, the position absolute would be on the button still. You have to add, yeah, you got it? Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. So right there, what did I do wrong? Expected comma, line 70. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I see it. It's right here. Hello. The view has to have absolute. Right, right. Oh, I for yeah, I forgot to add that. I literally just said it and I forgot to add it. Oh, where'd you go there, buddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. You are right there. Let's try this again. You've gotten far. Yo! Yeah, man. You know, we've gotten, we've gotten some good stuff going. There it is. There's the button. Heck yeah, dude. There she blows. Adding playlist. Boom. Boom. Nice. Love it. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Poopa, for real. Thanks for all your help. I think it's uh I think it's time for some mad props. Some mad props. Help me a lot. Uh so here. Mad props. Pro oh, I don't think I can do it in line, can I? Yeah, I can. Mad props. Poopa choo. Forever embedded in, in code. Forever embedded. Linux client one. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. We always throw mad props in inside files when people Give a lot of give a lot of support. So thank you for that. 
Um, all right. So. I think we need to do bottom, like, 40. See, okay, so I'll, I know how to do this with constraints in iOS, but we want to have the safeguard here, right? Oh, no, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. We add our style here in that view. We need to push up the uh, the container view here in this flat list. So pretty much, uh, we have content container style. We need to have a uh, bottom padding. Oh, but it does a padding 25 all around. Or we might need to do a margin then. Uh, let me play around with this and see what comes out of it. What's a chic synth we're looking to? I dig it. Uh, so this is an awesome playlist on Spotify. I love it. It's called Low Key Tech. It's very good. Uh, flat, flat. Which is called view. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Um. Oh, since it's absolute. Yeah. Okay. So I definitely need to add to the padding then. You're on the right track with padding bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Let's try it out. Yeah, buddy. There it is. Nice. Okay. One, I don't know about you all, but I feel like this button's too small. I feel like it could definitely, definitely be larger. Right? In the design, it looked pretty pretty solid. Actually, no, it looks too small in the design, I guess, as well. We change this to like a 58. I don't know, I feel like this is a center point of, of this app, right? So, I agree. Yeah, it, it looks too small. Maybe, maybe 60. I think 60 might be a a good middle ground there. 60 point. Maybe make him bigger just in case uh, when you will be on end of list. Yeah, exactly. No, for sure, for sure. Money, no <laughs> Get that mind out of the gutter, man. What the hell? <laughs> this this guy. A dirty mind is a dirty con man. Oh, got him. Yeah, no, I think that looks good. Um, I think 60 is the spot where, where we want to be at. Sweet man, no, this looks this looks good. Um, okay, so next step. Right now we just have the. So did that. I wanted to uh, add the styles. Here we go. So this is a button container. I want to add it to our styles list here. Let's do button container. And this is going to be all of these guys. Let's 
so like that uh, button container that's there and then we have our add button view with our styles here and then we'll say button Here we go. Much cleaner. I'm bored on the train, couldn't stop myself. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I understand. Nice, okay, and then we have our add button here. Uh, right now it just does that. Oh, I needed to move this outside of our players view. So every time it renders, doesn't create a new style sheet. Uh, text we didn't use. Just clean this up a tad bit. So image, touchable opacity, style sheet. Do we even use style sheet? Uh, we did not. So I don't think I'm gonna use it for this, honestly, since it's only, it's only that, right? Um, and then this is the since we're using style here we're gonna pass that in a style deconstructs it to style we're good there uh, and then the last thing we need to do is commit it and we should be should be pretty good style constants will place button size I'm gonna call this Add button size. That should be good there. And let's commit it. Then what we're gonna do is test it out on Android. We should be good to go. Hell yeah, man. So playlist view JS. Uh, yeah, we added all the things. Dimensions we don't need anymore. Button. Did I use a button here? I don't think I did. Nope. Take out button. Text. Did I even use text? No. Again, take that out. Unnecessary imports, man. We don't need them. We don't need them. Mock data we do need. Style sheet we do need. Oh, wait, what? Oh, an add button. Where's my styles? Oh, I did create one. I just didn't use it. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I'm considering a sublime merge license next month. Anyone tried this Git client? Mm. Interesting. I've actually never heard of it. All right, let's add it. So Git commit, adding. There it is, pushed it up. Good stuff. Now we're going to uh, head over to Android and we'll take a look at what's going on. When exit out of that, we're going to stop the bundle as well. So the first thing we actually need to do um, is we need to open Android Studio. And then again, we're gonna have to bring in our images here. Uh, so it has reference to them as well. in our bundle. Sure. Oh yeah, I, I, I would have assumed they were, you know, for sure. Um, 
Why don't you use uh have you always used a git a git GUI? Most of these per function components can be wrapped uh, in react.memo if you want a slightly better performance, by the way. Okay. What what does react.memo do? Tell me more about this. You know what I just realized? Hold up. And I should change this. If I know that my buttons are going to be 60. Um, I need to make sure that I am rendering these out properly. They're 54. So let's, let's make sure we do that. 60, yeah. As a Git GUI, try fork offers for you buy anything. Hmm. Good stuff. And welcome in. Thanks for being here. Uh, Memoize is output shallow compare props being passed to component. Oh, so it doesn't re-render every time. Hmm. Oh, man. Wow, you know a lot about React, dude. That's awesome. Um, yeah. I guess maybe, like... Towards the end, we should add that in as a task to do. At times, use a CLI, but it's easier for me to use a GUI. Okay. Yeah, everyone has their tools. All right, so we're going to put drawable in here. Oh, right. I did this last time. I don't want to move it. I just want to copy it in there. And then uh, let's open up Xcode again. And let's drop in this new size here. There it is. All right. And then the next thing we are going to need to do. Oh, is uh, let's build the app and then we're going to get our simulator or emulator up and running. So let's run our server, npm start, and then we have uh, npm start Android. Uh, wait, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the command. Did I do start? Android start, there we go. Cool. Where's Beard and Bet at? Beard and Bet? What you mean, bro? me the money cool there it is 
Oh, Roars and DK. <laughs> uh, Roars was here earlier, and so was DK. I don't know where they went. Er, oh, hold on one second. My chat just left for some reason. Oh, because I went over here. There we go. Oh, there's Roars. Uh oh, Festify pooped. Pooped itself. There we go. Add package scripts uh, start iOS. Wait, so when you do the npm npm start, you can do, you have to do npm run, run start iOS. I haven't actually seen that colon syntax before. Looking at parts of the, um, parts of the workflow. Yeah, I, so I haven't gone to any, I was thinking about UI tests, I like especially this, like this, this here needs its own like Android probably sort of wrapping, right? Like this, this looks wrong, but I, I'm wondering if like, oh, we got a crash, I think. You have to add that script. Yeah, no, no, I know. But I was just saying like, that's, that's how you'd, you'd run it. Why, why'd this happen? What? That was weird. I like, I think we'll, we're, we should add unit tests for sure. UI tests, so I'm always like half and half on. <laughs> I always go back and forth on them. I mean, I guess for now we can kind of just keep this. It's like, we're going to have to add a task where we go through iOS and Android. And then we start adding in their own caveats, right? So like one thing will definitely be this button shit here, but everything else works, right? So like if we go to the, this action here, this adding playlist works, which is cool. I don't know what the heck's going on here though. That's good. So I think uh, I think we're good to commit that. So basically, we just added new files. There it is. So get commit. Adding button assets to Android and updating button assets iOS. Okay. Cool. I'm back and I've consumed susten sustenance. Ooh, now I can't talk. Very nice. All right, so that's good. So pretty much the next thing we need to do is we need to actually add some sort of view, which uh, will go ahead and create a new playlist for us. And so I'm thinking as it can just be a little modal in the middle of the screen. So you press the button, pops up the modal, add some shit to it, and then uh, we'll just close it out, right? Very quick and simple. Um, so let me log this. So added in new button to add more playlists. 
Max is to start making a modal that allows you to add more info So first thing we're going to do is um, let's go ahead and just mock it up in Sketch. And like always, we're going to start with, with iOS, right? Oh, no. Uh, but let's go over to the Sketch. All right. We're gonna need to make this a little larger here. So pretty much, I think I've done a pretty good job keeping this stuff uh, organized. It hasn't been fantastic, but it hasn't been terrible either. So let's remove that. this play this card final and now I'm gonna going to copy this So this here oh hold up let me group these together yeah here we go so this will be playlist with iPhone and then we'll move that here will be playlist this will be add playlist with iPhone sweet oh, I've never used any UI testing apps do you have an article that's nice to read I don't but I can write one when I know a bit more about the subject Ooh, write it man do it so we so we can kind of, I think we should keep the same size of this thing, right? So this is basically 540 by 360. So let's make a rectangle. Something like this, right? Uh, borders, we remove that. Oops. Let's get some corner radius on this guy. Ten, I think we have eleven on the
Unless we do black with some opaqueness? No, no. I'm honestly not really sure. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm thinking um, basically just adding them as tags. Like they're going to be unique usernames, right? Uh, and I think like the best UI around that is just kind of this pop down search search thing. Um, but I don't know. That's going to be interesting as well of how we, we do a setup. I, I don't think it should be too bad, but how, how will we set up our back end? I just realized as well, I didn't actually. I'm trying to think about what color to do this background as. Right, because if I did something like this, it looks terrible. Yeah, it looks. I think it looks really bad. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Right, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that part yet. I was just thinking like, oh, Huey. like your username can only be like Enoch and that's it, right? There, there cannot be any more, like no numbers or anything at the end, but maybe, maybe it makes sense to do that. I would like to keep this text color though. I do like it. but we need a background that uh, supports it better. Right, like what, what background color could be good for this? really know that okay I think this is what we're gonna do I am going to actually head out a tad bit early today uh, because I definitely need to get to the office a little earlier so we're gonna actually end it here and come back with a fresh mind tomorrow on what we should do with this maybe not even do like this modal pop-up we do something different I don't know I think a modal pop-up makes sense but we'll think about something to do here um, and start with that tomorrow yeah we're gonna do that I think that sounds like a good idea so thank you everyone for coming out today appreciate you being here like always um, if you haven't yet consider giving the channel a follow get notified when when I go live and uh, we're here every every day Monday through Friday 12 30 p.m. UTC and uh, 5 30 a.m. PST no I appreciate you <laughs> thanks DK appreciate you all being here and if you haven't yet consider joining the discord would love to have you as part of the love we'll you as part of the uh, the talks and, and the good times so get in there come say hey um hey thanks martin pro stream you know pro stream for sure but at the end of every stream we always uh we always start a nice little raid so go ahead and grab those raid messages if you're a sub grab that first one a to land rip the bun the message will be rip the bun um and then if you're not no worries grab that second one twitch raid rip the bun 
and uh, let's see who's programming today. Usually, like, looking at the web development servers, it's usually what we we end up jiving towards, anyways. .NET Core Web Development? Uh-oh. <laughs> thanks, Enoch. Appreciate you. Poopa, thanks for your help today, man. Uh, what about just programming as well? We should go to this this person. .NET Core Web Development. Business Management Web Development from scratch. Dude, day one. Let's see. Alrighty. Lola the Dino. Sorry. <laughs> you should. No, no. <laughs> Let's show this dude some love. Thank you all again for coming by today. It's for sure it's been a blast. And we'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. Stick around for the raid and let's show this guy some love. Thanks everyone. Have a great rest of your day.